Hello everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. This past weekend I was in Pensacola, Florida for the 53rd annual Snowball Derby at Five Flags Speedway. If you've never had the chance to attend this event, put it on your bucket list. It is well worth it. Here is a little information to let you know how big this event is. There were 43 pro late model teams, 53 super late model teams, 22 pro truck teams, 37 outlaw teams, 31 modified teams, 23 pro stock teams, and 17 sportsman teams for a total of 226 teams. Now let's talk about the drivers that were present. Race face drivers that competed at the Snowball Derby included Gavin Graham, Grant Thompson, and Caden Honeycutt. But wait, there's more. How about Chase Elliott, Kyle Busch, Noah Gregson, Grant Infinger, and the best late model drivers in the country like Ty Majeski, Derek Thorne, Bubba Pollard, and the list goes on and on that we're all here to compete. Let's start with the Snowball Derby, where just making the race is an accomplishment. Caden Honeycutt qualified his number two Donnie Wilson Toyota second, only 0.19 seconds off the pole speed of Derek Thorne. How tough is it? Chase Elliott, Noah Gregson, Carson Hofgar, Bubba Pollard did not get in on qualifying speed and had to run the last chance race or take a provisional. Caden started from the front row and ran second for the first 25 laps, then moved into first and led the next 25 laps. Caden never ran outside the top eight and eventually brought home a fifth place finish. What an accomplishment for the young 17-year-old driver out of Texas. This young man has a bright future ahead of him. We now shift gears to the Snowflake 100 Pro Late Model Race where Grant Thompson qualified 10th in his Augie Grill number 112. Grant ran in the top 10 for the first 66 laps before an overheating issue forced him to pit. He restarted 21st with 34 laps to go and raced his way back to an impressive 12th place finish. Grant also competed in the pro truck portion of the Snowball Derby with race face teammate Gavin Graham. Let's start out with Gavin, who put his number 19 Kurt Brent Motorsports truck on the pole, inching out Grant by 0.47 seconds. With both race face drivers starting on the front row, it was hammer down from lap one, where 12-year-old Gavin Graham had some issues on the start and slipped back to fourth. He then raced his way back to third before another restart on lap 17 found him again struggling on the restart and falling back to seventh. He quickly started his run back to the front, passing for third on lap 28 and was able to stay there bringing home a third place finish. Let me tell you what, this young man was wheeling that truck big time. Up next for Gavin, Pro Trucks, this weekend, Auburndale Speedway in Lakeland, Florida. 14-year-old Mobile, Alabama driver Grant Thompson started the Pro Truck portion of the Snowball Derby with one thing on his mind. Get the lead early and stay there. And that's exactly what he did. Grant took the lead in his Kurt Britt Motorsports number 38 on lap one and led all 50 laps, parking it in victory lane and securing the Pro Truck Snowball Derby Championship. Grant was a guest on Speed 51's The Bull Ring and showed off a couple of off-track moves as seen here. But you floss, so I want you to teach me how to floss. Can you show me how to do it? Go ahead. Take, I'm going to take the mic. Take the mic. All right, go ahead. Get behind him, y'all. Come on. So, and that's how you floss. Overall, it was a great weekend for all three drivers as they handled themselves like professionals, both on and off the track. And they are all excited about what the 2021 season has in store for them moving forward. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you have missed any of our shows, 
you can get caught up on racefaceTV on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel from your favorite Raceface driver. That's a wrap for the 2020 season for most of our drivers. We can't wait to get the 2021 season started. On behalf of the entire Raceface crew and drivers, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a safe and happy new year. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching.